All right, guys, today we're going to make this one a little bit spicy because there is a copier in our midst. Now, now this video is going to be pretty interesting because there is a very interesting knife maker that has been running around now for a little while. And, you know, it's... Uh, and there's always a talk when, you know, newer knife makers or maybe not as well-known knife makers come into the industry and they start making, you know, knives. And someone's always going to invariably, you know, call them out for, oh, you copied this, or this design or that design, you know. But rare is the day when you see someone who is truthfully, like, honest to God, straight up just ripping designs off and putting their own name on it. And today we actually have one of those snaky little bastards in our midst. And no, it is not TRM for those wondering. I'm just holding my Neutron because I unfortunately actually don't have any of the knives or brands that this individual knife company is making um, copies of, but I am going to talk about them because undeniably, if you've been in the knife industry, you know that these are what they are. So the first one we're going to talk about here, and it is all the same company, is this Williams Knives. And I don't really want to plug their company that much, but it's important to know who it is so that you can avoid them. But it is Williams Knives, and this is undoubtedly like a direct clone of a um, <clears throat> of a Koenig Arius. Like this, if you hold this up to a Koenig Arius, this looks exactly the same. Like we're talking from the opening hole down to the little lanyard here. Like this lanyard design is very, very Koenig Arius. Like that's very specifically theirs. And to just see it just ripped off totally, even the handle, like the way that they've done the handle uh, milling, it doesn't come out great because you guys are looking at a screen while looking, you know, like at a screen. It's screenception, right? Um, but undoubtedly, like the way the handle is designed and chamfered, uh, it is just just a screaming, screaming comparison of the Koenig Arius. About the only thing that this knife doesn't have that's exactly like a Koenig Arius is this is a liner lock knife as opposed to a um, frame lock, but everything else on this knife is pretty much exactly the same. Aside from, like I said, this is a frame lock, so it has two slabs of G10 instead of one slab of G10 and one slab of titanium. So this is just like a clear ripoff. Like, they're not even trying to hide it. This thing is just bad. I mean, and on top of it, of course, like any good ripoff design, it is a substantially cheaper I guess is the best way to put it they're selling this MSRP from their shop gosh I'm not sure if you guys can see there but it's $99 for this thing and uh, it's made supposedly out of CPM 154 but uh, yeah this is um it's it's just terrible it's it's a horrible knife, and uh, I th there are already a lot of comments in the reviews. I'm not going to go over in this video. Just straight up calling it out for what it is. But, I mean, rare is the day that you see a knife company just blatantly just say, screw it, and go full bore on copying a another knife company. I mean, you know, there it's one thing genuinely to, you know, take design inspiration and, you know, make it your own. Like, a really good example of this might be the Hogue Decca, right? So, this is a Hogue Decca. It's very clearly trying to compete with the Benchmade Bug Out, right? But these two knives are very individualistic, I and mean, you can see that these two knives are different knives. Like, they're trying to achieve the same purpose, they're trying to appeal to the same market, but they are, in and of themselves, their own unique knives, not just straight up out the gate ripping off a knife. I mean, even a good one, what I'm actually carrying right now, the McNeese Mac 2, right? Like this is very much a knife that tries to draw a lot of inspiration from <clears throat> the Chris Reeve knives, Sabenza, right? This is a, you know, I mean, you can see that there are inspirations here. They're both American made titanium, you know, high quality knives, very smooth actions, right? But uh, they're very clearly their own two designs, right? Like they're not trying to rip each other off. This is just clearly a rip off and it's horrible. It's atrocious. It's bad to look at too, because it's it, like with many straight rip offs, it's not even very well constructed or like, you know, it, it looks like what it's supposed to look like, but it's not built with the same level of quality, attention to detail. Um, yeah, it's just terrible. Even another one here, um, what they call the Glide 
folder. If I remember correctly, this is a ripoff of Lucas Burnley's design. I cannot remember the name of the Lucas Burnley knife um, because once again, ironically, I don't own any of these knives. Like I don't own a Koenig Arius. And to be completely clear, I don't even really love the Koenig Arius. But at the same time too, you know, Koenig, like, I don't love the knives, but I respect the company because they have worked with companies like Chris Reeve. They're Idaho-based, made in the U.S. They're genuinely trying to make a good knife. It's a lot like the McNeese uh, Mac 2, right? Like, this is not my favorite titanium frame lock folder, but I respect it in a lot of ways. Like, it tries to be a very good knife, and it executes it very well, right? So, I feel very much about the Koenig Arius as I do the McNeese Mac 2. Like, it's not something that I personally love, but the attention to detail is there. It is a quality knife. These are just straight garbage that are just ripping off other designs so horrible so horribly and I think the last thing that I really have to say about this company that you know like another clear tall tale sign that you're ripping off a company is when a company that you're stealing their designs from or a maker like Lucas Burnley you know reaches out to the company like Williams Knives and just gets blocked right like there's no clear clearer indication that you're doing something that you shouldn't do then when you have to block or take measures to stop talking to the person to whom you ripped their design off. So that's a very clear indication that you're not being honest, you're not being upfront, and that you're not being like a quality person. So anyways, if you guys see these knives out in the wild, uh, you know, Williams knives, don't support these guys. And if it looks too good to be true, it probably is, right? Like these knives, you know, they seem to be pretty pretty like they seem to have good quality materials going into them they seem to have good quality materials going into them and the sad part is they seem like they could be a good company they have a reasonably well-sized following on things like instagram and you know like on the outset there are things like their edc knives look attractive of course they use that very typical like approach of like more mainstream knife companies where they try to lure you in with you know some quaint cute kind of you know like intros like easy to carry tough to break a lot of that marketing bullshit that um is featured by the james brand like used very heavily by them as well like we i did another video about james brand themselves though luckily i will say to the credit of james brand even though i really don't like them at least they aren't directly ripping off other companies designs but they use a lot of the same kind of like this Williams brand uses a lot of the same kind of snaky sentiments like, you know, you should, if you want the best knife or like the most clean knife or whatever, you know, like they try to market towards or appeal towards your senses like, oh, this is the easiest knife to carry in the world. So you clearly need to buy one. It's like, honestly, it's not any easier or harder to carry than something like this. Probably will feel a whole lot less satisfying to use than a McNeese Mac 2. But, you know, like realistically, it's it weighs the same about the same size and all that stuff. So anyways, I will say, like I said, this is a McNeese Mac 2. Continue to buy these guys if you like them. They are good good quality knives, but this Williams Knife Company, I just thought I would throw it out there because a lot of the people that I run with in my knife circle have been talking about these guys, but you know, oftentimes if you don't have something like a YouTube following to be able to blast companies that are like, hey, this is bad, this is a ripoff, like stay away from this company, um, you know, sometimes they can kind of fly under the radar and ultimately like trick people that, you know, they don't understand because, you know, that's I think like the core of what um, this Williams Knife knife company is trying to do is take advantage of people who don't know about knives like the Koenig Arius and they're like wow it's just a really good looking knife and on top of that it's only a hundred bucks right when you don't realize that the you know T&E or research and development R&D you know was done by another company and this company is just taking advantage of that so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always god bless and I'm out